Yeah. Again, is recording. Very good, Daniel. So, so now we are going to do uh, uh, cut sections of a 3D file of uh, a virtual asphalt. In this case, it can be anything. Uh, we will cut these sections. Uh, and uh, we will create a stack of images uh, of planar sections that we can use later to analyze, for example, the porosity, the properties of the force, etc. All yours, Daniel. Okay, all right, thank you, Alvaro. Okay, so the file that we are going to use is uh, from the virtual assault uh, software. I'm just going to open it so that we have a look at it. Uh, Basically, this is from one uh, mixture, one mix design that we have over, over here. So this way, I'm going to slide into the various uh, sections. I'm just going to cancel it. Then we're going to use Zodiac uh, Net Fab Premium 2020, or you can even use 2021. There's a 2021. So I've already opened it over here. So the first step will be to import file. So there are several ways of doing it. You can either uh, drag and drop. Okay. So when it happens like this, you just click on Add Parts. Mm. So normally when it comes, it's uh, rotated uh, at 90 degrees. So you just need to bring it back. So I'll just click on the red part. Type 90. For you. So then the next thing that we have to do is we have to scale it. Because when you select it and you look at the dimensions over here, it's 0 0.07. It's very small. So we have to scale it. So. I go to home and I go to scale. And then um, if you have an idea of what the original size is, you either uh, put the scale factor here or you can put the, uh, the target size, that is the X, the Y, or the Z. So um, let, me see. let me see what happens to this. Okay, so I need to make it 100. I make it 100. No, it is not six or thousand like that. Yeah. We are looking for the scale factor. 60, 60, yeah. So 67, around, 67 mil of, yeah. of the diameter. Yeah. Okay. And then I think the thickness is about 35, 36 uh, mil. So. Okay. Yeah. So I'll just click on apply. It's going to scale for you. Just zoom out. Then. I would want to move it to the center of the uh, platform. So I click on move and I click to platform center. And it just moves to the center for me. So once you have this uh, triangle over here, it means that you need to repair uh, the mesh that you've imported. So to do that repair, you just select it and then go to repair path. And go to automatic. Then there are three options. You will want to choose the, the third one as the extended repair. So you click on execute. And then, yeah, depending on your machine specs and all that, it might take a bit of time. But this should be pretty fast because the file size is small. OK, so once it's done, you see that it will tell you that the mesh is closed, the mesh is oriented. So you see this uh, correct sign over here to show that everything is successful. Then click on apply repair. Then you can remove the old parts. You don't really need it. So. And that's it. So once it's repaired, you realize that the name of the file will have repaired attached to it. So this was the file, but then it has repaired attached to it. So uh, it is blue. I don't know why the default color is blue, but you can <laughs> change. You can change the color. So I don't know why they use blue. I I I don't know. I like to use something it's difficult to see the blue you know so you cannot see the shadow yeah uh -huh, like, so. the, like the smart uh-huh it was like this i don't know better, so. better better yeah so once you are done to, to slice it it's quite simple you just select it and then go to slice path 
Now you have the option of choosing the uh, the what's the, the difference between the slices. So over here I'm doing 0 0.01, 0 0.1 millimeters. So so realize that it's going to start from 0 millimeters and it's going to end at 36 point. Uh, so this is the that's the thickness of the. So this uh, is the thick. Oh, yeah. so let me see if I understand. So layer size is the thickness of the layer of the. Yes, the thickness of. Exactly. It's not like we, we cut with a plane, we we cut with a very thin uh, N line. It's, yeah, okay. So and the thickness of that line is 0 0.1. Exactly. Okay. And stop is the total thickness of the of the sample. So we exactly. start from the top and then shh, cut up in the bottom. Exactly. Ah, okay. So if you can you can always uh, modify that. So where did, where did you where did you can, can you can you repeat again where did you get the slice so can you can you can you open the window again so it's on home yeah you select it and then go to slice path if you don't select it it wouldn't be active so uh -huh, you, uh -huh. you need to select. select the sample and there is a button there called slice path right. excellent yeah and click on it it's very easy then you see, oh yes, it's quite easy. So you click on whatever uh, thickness you want to use and click on start. So how do you know the the distance between each slice? Is 0 0.1 millimeter? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now it's done. All right. So if I move up, you realize that the slice. Ooh. Yeah. Or I can even click on play. Then it will be moving up for me. So it's showing all the, the slices inside. This one goes up. Or it can just move all the way up to the end. That looks very good. So to export it, you just there's an export button over here. So you click on export. And then uh, you choose a file format. So I there is a Mm, yes, that's PNG file for me to write And then you can um, export that separate file to have a zip file here. Yeah. I, I decided to do a zip file because maybe you want to uh, copy it and maybe send it to someone or something. You don't have to uh, export it and you now kind of zip it. So you can just zip it straight away. Mm -hmm. uh, I choose my destination, I click on save, and then I click on I think that you have the option of uh, changing the the pixel size over here, the resolution. Yes. Yeah. Two hundred DPI, and then, but let's say we we'll yeah. just we we'll just stick with the default for now. Click on OK. And then so I'm I'm exporting three hundred and sixty-two, which which kind of makes sense because our thickness is about uh, thirty-six. So if you are having you are doing it at zero point one millimeter, you should expect around three hundred and sixty. Yeah. Uh, something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, yeah. No, excellent. I'm done. Let's see. Let's see what. Let's see what happened. So, oh, it's even here. <laughs> so I go over here to my zip file. I extract my files. And there you go. Fantastic. Fantastic, like in a city scan. Excellent. All the layers, so whatever you want to do to it. Very good. That was a very efficient, uh, a very efficient thing. All right, that's it. Thank you very much. So you can start the garden. I'll start a speak. All right, Daniel. See you. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs>